In this video, I'll show you how to find the optimal value using linear programming. This is question two. We've already covered this content in question one, so be sure to read it if you haven't already watched that video. The question reads, find the non-negative values of x and y that will maximize the function z is equal to 2x plus y with the following constraints shown below. The first thing that we have to do is graph these four constraints. Notice that they are all linear equations, except we need to isolate for y in order to graph them quickly. So I'll do that first. y minus x less than or equal to 6 is the same thing as saying y less than or equal to 6 plus x. Notice that I've moved the x over to the right side and became positive. Therefore, my slope here is represented by the coefficient of this x, and that's 1. My y-intercept is 0 and 6. My next inequality can be rewritten like this, where I have 4y is less than or equal to 40 minus x, dividing both sides by 4. To isolate for the y, I end up with y is less than or equal to 10 minus a quarter x. Here my slope is negative 1 over 4. And my y-intercept has the points 0 and 10. Let's do the same thing for the next two. y is less than or equal to 16 minus x, where my slope is negative 1. And my y-intercept has the points 0 and 16. Lastly, for this inequality, if I bring this y over and this 20 over, I end up with 2x minus 20 less than or equal to positive y. And here my slope is 2, and my y-intercept is 0 and negative 20. Following this interpretation, I can now plot the y-intercept for each of these and then use the slope to guide me as to where my next point will be. If you do it correctly, you should end up with a graph that looks like this, where this line represents the line with the y-intercept of 6, which happened to be y is less than or equal to 6 plus x. This line would represent this equation, where y is less than or equal to 10 minus 1 over 4 x. We can assume that this line will extend all the way to a y-intercept of 16, which tells me that this line is represented by y is less than or equal to 16 minus x. And finally, this line would represent 2x minus 20 less than or equal to y. Notice that this part is shaded, and there's a reason for that. Because the only permissible values for x and y are coordinates of points on the edges of or within the shaded region. These are called the feasible solutions. That being said, to find out what maximizes z, we need to find the points of intersection along this shaded region. So this point, this point, this point, this point, this point, and then subsequently substitute those points of intersection back into our equation, which happened to be z is equal to 2x plus y. Only then will we find out what will optimize this function. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's find out what the point of intersection is for these two lines. And I'll show you how to do the first one, and then I'll fill it in for you automatically. So this line has the equation y is equal to 6 plus x. Forget about the inequality for now, it's not important. And this line has the configuration of y is equal to 10 minus a quarter x. To do this, we need to either use the addition subtraction method or substitution. And I'll choose the latter, where I will make these two equal to each other. So making 6 plus x equal to 10 minus a quarter x, I can bring all the letter terms to one side and all the constants to the other. So bringing this 10 over, this x over, I end up with 6 minus 10 is equal to negative a quarter x minus x. Now simplifying the left and the right side, this gives me negative 4 and negative a quarter minus one, using my calculator, negative a quarter minus one gives me negative five over four. Dividing both sides by negative five over four gives me x is equal to, using my calculator once again, four divided by five over four, 
Notice that I've ignored the negatives because I know it's going to give me a positive output. I end up with 3.2. 3, .2. three decimal 2, that's the x coordinate. To get the y coordinate, I substitute it back into here. And my point is 3.2 and 9.2. So this right here is 3.2 and 9.2. Notice that this is going to take a while to do. And now that you know how to do it, here's how it would look like if you do it correctly. You'll end up with all of these points of intersection. And your final step will be to use the points, as outlined here, to compute z. So our function was z is equal to 2x plus y. z is equal to 2x plus y. And I'll substitute the following 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points. Let's go ahead and do this. Starting with 0 and 0, we end up with at x, 0 and 0, we end up with 0, 0 z value. At x, 0 and 6, we end up with a z value of 6. At x, at 3.2 and 9.2, for this we'll need to use our calculator. So we have 2 times 3.2 plus 9.2 gives us 15.6. At 8 and 8, we don't need our calculator for this. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 8 is 24. So far, this is the highest. At x being at 12 and 4, 2 times 12 is 24, plus 4 is 28. At x 10 and 0, we have 20. Therefore, the maximum occurs at 12 and 4. This produces the highest z value or the optimal solution. And there you have it. That is how to find the maximum value using linear programming.